today's video, we conquer our ultimate goal, pulling Dragon Master Magia. What is up, guys? We are back with another Dragon Master Magia opening. Yes, I know. I, I feel, do, do I sound hopeful? It's because I am. I'm ready to pull it today. I don't care that we've opened 2,558 packs or whatever. That doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that today we will be pulling the Dragon Master Magia no matter how many packs have been opened before this. It's happening today. But before we break the curse of the Magia, we have a giveaway. This giveaway was given by CJ in his collection video a couple days. Actually, wait, you guys might not have even seen it yet, so it might be tomorrow. So actually, this is a little future for you. We didn't give it away in that video, but we're giving it away in this video. So it's actually before the video where we didn't give it away. Pretty crazy, huh? So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will this be the day we conquer the Magia? Put yes, because I mean, come on, it's going to happen today. And you can win those uh, GOAT slash Edison cards. You guys can see what those are in tomorrow's video. So keep an eye out for that. I actually picked up a Magia case from Aiden, who said, thanks for helping out uh, with content and channel. There's no one I would rather watch pull the Magia and hope it's in here to pull. Let's get that 250 so we can watch the every pack opening. Aiden, thank you for selling me this case. We're going to be opening packs from that case until we get a QCR. And guess what? That QCR is going to be the Magia. So no more messing around, guys. We've been chatting for enough. Let's get this thing. Let's make this thing happen. This is going to be one sick opening. I cannot wait to pull the dragon master we're gonna get at least a qcr in this video okay at least one qcr and it's gonna be the legendary dragon master Magia. i have a good feeling about it this is gonna end the opening there will be a pack counter on screen starting with whatever we were at last time which is like 2500 something every video until we get it which is you know it's the last video so no worries it will be counting up to the number we hit for the total Magia packs <sighs> one two uh, two from the back. Now, are we even going to do pack trick today? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we will. Yeah, we'll do pack trick. We'll do pack trick. Sing and Jin. Uh, just in case, you know, that can bring a little bit of extra luck. <sighs> There's still a lot of, a lot of QCRs I haven't pulled in here. And by a lot, I mean a few, like maybe three or four. I don't know the exact number. <sighs> I did the math recently after the last Magia video. And I was like, you know what? Let's see just how many packs we've opened. I even did the math for how much we've spent. That, that is still a mystery. So you guys don't know the answer to that one. We may reveal that at the end. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting to see like what different people think I've spent on it. Let me know in the comments how much you think I've spent searching for the Magia. Keep in mind, some of the packs were not paid. I didn't pay for them. So uh, I think Hobbiesville sent us one for a case for free. And then we had uh, two cases open for my locals in the live stream at the very beginning. So there were three cases I didn't have to buy. So keep that in mind. Um, and then I think four four boxes from two different viewers uh, that that we opened up. Actually, no, I I realized I counted that wrong because at, at the uh, Collecticon, I actually did pay for them because we traded. So I traded some value for it. So there's only been two boxes. Those were sent in by a viewer. So three cases and two boxes I got to open. Uh, I either got to keep so I got to keep the one from Hobbiesville, and the others were just for uh, the other people, just opening for them to potentially pull it. So a lot of, you know, there's been there's been some help coming my way in terms of like not having to pay for certain things just to try to pull the big card. And even with that, you know, we still haven't pulled it. But keep that in mind with your guesses on how much we've spent. You know, some of it, that, there's obviously no cost when you don't have to buy it, you know. Uh, but there are a lot, a lot that I've had to buy. Well, I think we were at the 2,500 was like 8.88 cases. So we're almost at nine cases. We are over ratio, which is 8.33 cases, AKA one in a hundred booster boxes is the ratio to get one specific 25th anniversary. But the thing is, there's always gonna be, a lot of times there's gonna be doubles. You're probably not gonna get 25 out of 25. So it's just, it's difficult. If you get unlucky and get the wrong one, you know, it could end up like the Magia, which is what's happening here. But the Magia, the end of that saga, it is today. The, today is the end of the saga. Look, it's been fun. It's been awesome. We've been opening since June. It's September. So, hey, look, we're done with Magia. It, it's gonna, I've enjoyed it. Magia, you've been fun. Rhyme Style's been trolling me nonstop, including our video where we uh, open Retro Pack. He put the Magias in, keyword Magias, two with an S. He's been trolling me big time. Uh, so, I need, I need to pull one and rub it right in his face, okay? That's what's gonna happen right here. We're gonna pull one. And we're gonna say, you know what, PSA 10, baby, and he's gonna be big jealous, even though he already has a PSA 10. But 
he'll be jealous because we'll have one as well, okay? So, uh, so far this box is pretty boring. No U-Bell, it's Sprite Blue, that's actually pretty good, I'll pull that out. I'm gonna pull out the Snatch Deals for my GOAT box as well, uh, Ritual Beast. We wanna get, uh, also, yeah, I know, sorry about last time we had a $1.50 on every price. I think there was just like an editing error, but you know, sometimes they happen. And I, funny enough, when it happened, when I, I didn't notice it because I didn't watch the video before I posted it, which happens sometimes when you post every single day, you know, it's hard to watch every video, you know, uh, or like view over every video. So there are mistakes sometimes in my videos, but I, I watched them like, you know what? This actually makes perfect sense. It's like, it's like that everything's the same price. It's just like really rubbing it in. It's like, yeah, you don't have the Magia. You're just getting $1.50 cards every time. I was like, this kind of fits the vibe, honestly even though uh, some of the prices were off. Like the Lara is more than $1. fifty, but I mean, pretty much everything else is not much more than that. So uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll have that fixed this time. So don't you worry, guys. It, it will be back to normal real prices, stuff like that. Not that you guys even need to know the prices of these because you've seen them a million times. I mean, we've opened 2,500 packs of these. You guys have seen it a few times. A lot of them were on the live stream, though. So there's that. Earthbound and uh, Indiv Anubis. Is Indiv Anubis like goat playable at all? Maybe I should put some in the goat box just in case somebody wants to play some crazy weird deck. Not that I ever even like use the goat deck with people, but in the future. The thing is like, there's no foreseeable future where I'm gonna have like people over and we play goat format. The thing is, if I have the box, if it ever comes up, I have the box. You know what I mean? So I'm prepared. So I, that's why I kind of do the goat netizen because like, and for myself, just like build different decks. So. But it would be, in theory, fun to just be like, hey, we have all these cards. Let's just build decks out of it, you know? Okay, uh, Terminal Revenge, so far, you are letting us down. What's new? What's new with Terminal Revenge? But don't worry. I think we're going to maybe cross into 2,600 packs here. Brandon Fusion's a good card, but it's now limited to one. I know, if you missed the Banless reaction, wow, big reaction for me about the Brandon Fusion, guys. Oh, man, you Brandon fans, that sucks. Sucks big time. Gen X Ally, we have the, uh, speaking of Gen X Ally, we have Gigantic Sprite. Okay, give us a QCR right off the bat. This is a fresh case straight from Aiden. So Aiden, if you sell us the correct case, by the way, this was the most expensive case I've bought yet because first of all, when you buy them early, you know, you buy them from, uh, when I get them from Sassy out on the pre-order, I get them a little bit cheaper, which is great. Then I buy them, you know, a little bit later. He's like, well, look, I only have this many cases left. I got to raise the price on you. So I had to pay a little bit more there. So it's like just getting more and more expensive every time, you know, trying to get this thing. And then Aiden's like, look, man, I bought this for, I think he paid 825. He's like, I can sell it to you for 900. I'm like, that's totally fair. Like, I get it. You're not trying to lose like a ton of money, right? So I'm like, all right, we'll do 900, man. That's like, and, and, you know, that's, that's not like a terrible price for what it is. It's like, it's not even a new set anymore. It's three months old. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. Like we haven't paid 900 yet, but you know, they start, it starts adding up when, when the sets get older and older, they're harder and harder to find, you know? And uh, that's the first box. We are 0 for 1. So the longer this takes, the more expensive it gets because it's harder to find ca sealed cases. The sealed cases you can find are rarer now because people have opened a bunch of them. So it's like the, lo the longer this takes, the more money we spend on it, but the crazier it gets. You know, like we're just like, ah, oh, the Meiji, it's been six months. We've opened 5,000 packs. Like, honestly, once we run out of what I have now, which is I still have a decent amount left because I was able to pick up a couple cases from Sassy. I got this one. So we have not quite three cases. So we have a lot of potential left. We could just go live and open all of it. But I'm like, it's not that long of a stream. You know, two cases, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, it'd probably just make for better videos, right? Because if we had like eight cases, I'd probably just do a crazy stream and we'd just be like, okay, look, we're back in. We got ratio in terms of cases. Let's just open them up and get lucky. But we don't have that much product left. So I'm like hesitant to open it all at once because I'm going to be so disappointed if it's not in here. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be so disappointed if it's not in here. So I'm spacing out my disappointment and I'm going to keep an eye out for more. So if you do have Terminal Revenge and you want to help me out, you know, if you got any for sale, maybe I might buy more off of you after I run out of all the product I have. So keep it, uh, you know, reach out to me and let me know you have some and maybe we can make it happen. There is another guy also sending me like two boxes to open for him. So hopefully maybe we could pull it here and then because I'll still do that opening. That would be... That would be pretty fun to double pull the Magia. But I'm saying after how unlikely we've gotten, probably not. But you never know. Maybe the luck will turn around. Like, it'll take way longer than ratio the first time. And then the second time, we just pull it immediately. That could definitely happen, you know? You just never know. All it takes is one pack. It just takes one pack and everything can change. And I'm hoping that one pack out of these will be the change. Proxy F Magician. So far, no sign of a QCR anywhere. We've looked left. We've looked right. We've looked up. We've looked down. 
over under. There's no QCRs anywhere. Ah, oh, Magia. If you guys have not, um, yeah, of course, seen any of the Magia openings, we do have a full playlist on them. If you want to see, you know, all the stages of grief we've gone through searching for this thing. I think we're, I mean, including like the original videos, we've done so many videos opening Terminal Revenge, probably like 14 now. But in terms of actual Magia hunting, because the first couple, I didn't even really know what I was. I can't even remember what I said. I was like the Dragon Master thing or whatever. Like, I didn't even know what I was talking about. And then, of course, people in the comments now are going to say, you're still saying Magia wrong. It's like I've, I've addressed this the last couple of videos. We've said Magia for 14 videos or whatever. Well, the first ones I was saying Dragon Master thing, but we got to keep it consistent, right? If I change it now, it's like you could say, well, then you might pull it. But I don't know. It just it just feels confusing. Like, why are you saying it differently now? <laughs> Guard dog and retrieval beast. So I'm just stick sticking with what's consistent to potentially, you know, gain a little favor with the Dragon Master itself. OK, maybe it respects the uh, the consistency on our end. And so far, it doesn't seem like it does. We have not pulled a QCR yet. So we have opened about a box and a half, I would say. It would be fantastic if we could just pull it today, you know, get the search over with. Like, I, not that I haven't enjoyed the search, it's been fun. But over 2,600 packs, I mean, that gets to a point where it's like, ee, we've opened 3,000 packs for a couple of cards. Now that I know the numbers, I know that this is not the longest search we've ever had. But on those other ones, we did just live streams. Like, it was like pure live streams. I think it was Stardust Dragon, we went for 11 plus cases. So that's like, what is that, 288? So about, it's somewhere over 3,000 packs. So that was like a really crazy one. We can do the math on the screen for whatever 288 times 11 is, um, plus a couple other boxes. So it was like that plus a couple couple more packs. So we've done that with that. The red eyes was less packs because it was like 13 cases, but there were only 150 packs per case. So it was not as many in that one. And then I think maybe one other one, maybe the Exodia, I think we opened 10 cases. Four, did we do 10 on the original stream? And then we added like a couple more, or was it eight? I can't remember exactly what we did. So the Exodia, full Exodia set, that wasn't one card, that was a full Exodia set. So that's a little different because you had to pull five separate Starlights, though the ratios were a little bit easier because it was once, well, it was about the same because it was one Starlight per case and there's 10 of them. So interesting, you know, to think about. I think this is probably number two in terms of packs open for one specific card right behind the Stardust. Unless I'm forgetting something, guys. I think Red Eyes, Exodia, and Stardust are the big three searches we've had, and I've just explained why, like, each one is, you know? So I think we're just behind the Stardust in terms of, like, legendary status of opening packs. And we're still a ways away. We're probably about four or 500 packs away from passing the Stardust, which I think was 11 cases in two to three boxes. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was 11 plus two to three boxes. So that's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 32. So maybe we are like even like 600 ish packs away. So we're kind of far actually. But once we open all the packs I have here, we're probably going to be in that ballpark. Uh, so hopefully it ends before then, though it would be it would be fitting for it to be just legendary status of this card. We opened the most packs of ever. We made well, definitely made the most videos. It already has the record for that. We only have three packs left in this in this two box opening. So we're about to have opened 48 today. So we're definitely over 2600 total packs, which is a wild amount of Yu-Gi-Oh packs to open for one card, if you think about it. I mean, if you're not like a, a like me, like a YouTube content creator that does Yu-Gi-Oh packs and like if you guys weren't so interested in this series, I probably would have given up already. You know, <laughs> I would have been like, you know what, let's just save it for another day. But you guys love the series. You guys want to see me pull it, which makes it that much more fun. So if you're not me and you don't have like 30,000 people, you know, watching every video for this series, then, you know, it just doesn't happen. You don't spit. Last pack magic. Is this last pack magic? Last pack magic in this box. This makes me so nervous because we, we only have a 4% chance because there's 25 QCRs. But this could be the 4% chance. This is the one. We've hit so many 4% chances. We've missed every single time. This could be the one after however many packs are on the screen, 2,600 something packs. This could be the one that ends the series for good. Like 14 videos made. $900 Magia, whatever it is. <sighs> Let's just see if it's it. Let's just see if it's it. This is the same one we pulled last video. We pulled this card last video and it's like 19 bucks. That's the worst part. It's not even a decent one. Oh, uh, OK, we got to open another box. We're not ended on that crap. We got to at least get a U-Bell in here, right? OK, straight out of a case. So 
This could this could be another QCR on the case. Let's hope it is. Hopefully this is a four QCR case as well, because that'll give us one more chance. That is that is just sad. Last pack magic shining star dragon QCR. That is brutal. That is one of the worst QCRs you can pull. We're going to give ourselves one more box. So we're going to do three boxes max today. We'll save some others. We'll have nine others in this box. Don't worry, guys. Or in this case, I mean. So we'll be opening those in the future. If you do want to see those open in the future and see me pull Magia, if we don't pull it today, make sure you subscribe. Or if we pull it, you could subscribe for us pulling it as well. So win-win. And also check out Ruxin34.com if you haven't already. That is a very helpful way to support the channel. You can pick up something really cool, whether it be a booster box, sealed product, PSA cards, all that different stuff available over on my website. So go check that out if you guys have never done that before. Also, we have whatnot links down below. Uh, if you guys want to sign up for whatnot and get $15 free credit, you can do that as well. That supports me in another way. And of course, go check out Wield Goat because that is like, I'm having a super blast with that series. A super blast, not just a blast, super blast. It's been so much fun. The series probably, it's my second longest series behind uh, Guess That Price. Unless you include the Magia, I guess third longest because Magia has like 14 videos. We'll have to actually see which one of those lasts longer because, you know, if we never pull the Magia, who knows? It might outpace Wield Goat. Wield Goat, though, uh, I, I see continuing for a while. It's been so much fun to, to record, collaborate with people. It's so fun to collab because with openings, it's kind of hard to do. You kind of have to like be in person to do openings. You can do like an opening collab over video, but it's just not as fun. And if you do like pack battles, it's like, yeah, those are kind of cool. Just a way to like interact with other people, but like interact sort of because you're not really interacting. You're just like, I don't even know what the word for that is. It's like you're like, hey, yeah, man, let's do a battle and like talk trash and stuff. But we're not actually, you know, talking to each other because like I've done some of them where you do like we did the wheel spinning thing, pack opening battle with a couple of Cyber Knight and Poker Rev, and it was fun and everything, but it was just a little bit too hard to do over the internet. It didn't really work. I, you guys kind of liked it, you, but it was definitely not a slam dunk. So it's just hard to do with pack opening. So doing it with with bat, like dueling is just really, really fun. And I've had a blast doing it. So hopefully we can continue to do that series in the future. Enough yapping. It's time to pull. Oh, I thought I saw something for a second. Did we? The maze. Yeah, avoid breach. No, we didn't. Okay. Still no Ubel, by the way. That thing is just ridiculous to pull. Still no Ubel. I don't know how the price was affected based on the last ban list, because I know uh, apparently Ubel is still running rampant, so I don't think it actually affected it too much. It might even be more expensive, you know, if the deck's better now, because other decks are not as good. Well, that could be the case. Okay. Okay. Infernoid, Sprite Sprint, we have Pillar, Argenex, and a Ritual Beast. Let's keep it going. Man, guys, let me know in the comments what, you, what you're feeling. Wait, are we, when are we going to pull this thing? Is it going to be right now? Is it going to be in 10 videos? Is it going to be next video? Is it going to be in the next pack? I don't know. You got to let me know in the comments. I need to, you guys to send me some luck also. Like, send me some serious luck. Division and Wink Rebo level six. Only like 10 maybe packs left. We've opened 72. We're going to open 72 packs in this video. Three boxes. Just adding and adding and adding to that tally. Oh my goodness. This is insane. It won't stop. One day we're going to get lucky and we're going to pull that thing. I, I have a great feeling. We're going to do it. I'm not losing hope yet, guys, because I got a bunch of packs ready to be opened. I know it's got to be in there. Okay, it's got to be in there. You know what's another thing, by the way? Did I ever mention this? I don't remember if I told you guys, but my local store, we opened two cases for them in the live stream. They opened like one or two for themselves. I don't remember how much and they pulled it. So if they just handed me the other case instead, we would have pulled it. But instead, they handed me the other cases, which did have a Phantom of Viewbell QCR in it. This one's just a Phantom of Viewbell regular, but that's a nice card. Very nice. We will take that. Good to see that. So I have been getting destroyed by Ubel ever since the, or not by Ubel, by Magia ever since the beginning. Like absolutely destroyed. Like I was that close to pulling it right off the bat. This series never would have existed though, which kind of, I mean, that would kind of be bad because it's been like, it's been a really fun series and you guys have really enjoyed it. And I think it's done, done good for the channel. So there, that's a big plus. But at the same time, we could have already pulled it already. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like bittersweet in that regard. I would not mind pulling it now, though. I would not mind pulling it now at all. Like, I, I'm okay with the series ending now. You know, it's been fun. It's been awesome. But it can end. It, it's okay to end. All great things must come to an end, okay? And right now, could be that end in the next four packs. 
And if you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but holy crap, we are flying up in subs. 250,000 is like right around the corner at this rate. Like it could be next month. It could be next month if this pace keeps up. So that's super exciting. And that means we could potentially be opening every pack. We do have one Magia pack in there, by the way. Oh, my pack calculation's off by one, I think, because I didn't calculate that I took one pack out. So technically the pack, cal pack counter's one off, so we can edit that right now, just to show that. I just realized that. Hexa, we have mirror match. Come on, baby. It's gonna save for the last pack magic. Just like the last box, last pack magic QCR. Here we go, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's pull this QCR. Finally, right here, right now, let's pull that Magia. Brand Fusion, okay. It's gonna wait for another video, guys. I cannot believe how many videos we've done on this card. We've got to pull it eventually, right? 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 Shout out to Tolan Fosho, Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.